He left Iraqi politics last year. But Shiite cleric Muqtada al-Sadr showed rivals how much influence he still wields when his supporters stormed and torched the Swedish embassy in Baghdad. Prompted by one man's plan to burn a Quran, the incident has dragged Baghdad into a diplomatic crisis, embarrassing the government of Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al-Sudani, which moved to sever ties with Sweden after Sadr urged it to take a firm position. So who is Sadr and how does he have such clout? His supporters are his main weapon. We came here in response to the call by Maktara al-Sadr and we came in support of the Quran. Sadr commands the loyalty of hundreds of thousands of members of Iraq's majority Shiite community. And this isn't the first time he's mobilized them. Last year, amid tensions with his Iran-backed rivals, Sadr's supporters staged a sit-in in the Baghdad parliament. In 2019, they joined huge anti-corruption protests that toppled a government led by pro-Iranian parties. Sadr is the only Iraqi Shiite leader who has challenged both Iran and the US. And that goes down well with millions of poor Shiites who feel they haven't benefited from governments linked to either. He's a powerful figure in politics and a kingmaker. I demand this colonial government, American government, to resign immediately. Sadr rose to prominence after the US-led invasion of Iraq in 2003. His militia waged two insurgencies against US-led forces. During the US occupation, he was an outlaw, wanted dead or alive. Sadr's movement won more seats than any other faction in legislative elections in 2018 and 2021, and many of his supporters hold key positions in the state bureaucracy. But his rivalry with Shiite factions backed by Iran has fueled bouts of instability. His attempts to form a government last year were thwarted, and deadly fighting erupted in Baghdad. Sadr wields religious authority. He wears the black turban of a Sayyid, someone recognised as a descendant of the Prophet Muhammad. His father was revered Grand Ayatollah Muhammad Sadiq as Sadr, who was assassinated in 1999 after criticising dictator Saddam Hussein. Since stepping back from politics, Sadr has engaged supporters in religious events instead of protests. But a Quran burning in Sweden in June changed that. The incident has allowed Sadr to stir up his supporters and flex his muscles from the sidelines. And it's raised questions of a comeback that diplomats fear would again destabilise Iraq.